All right, everyone, this is Chris here of Retro Core Podcast, bringing you a PlayStation game, actually, PlayStation 1. And look, Electronic Arts, they knew how to make other, other stuff other than first person shooters. Oh, let's God listen to the story. Idznak. Hmm. I don't remember the story to this game. This is Skull Monkeys, by the way, for the PlayStation 1. Looks like meat monkeys. <laughs> yeah, beat the monkey meat tits. Fatality. There we go. Look, Ma, I'm a skull monkey. In fact, I oh. am Claude Monkey, the king of all skull monkeys. <laughs> Clog Monkey will never get away with this. My people are far too smart to accept him as leader. <laughs> Silly meat monkeys. First, we make an evil engine. We make an evil engine. Engine number nine. Number nine. To destroy the neighborhood. <laughs> to destroy the neighborhood. Now let's get to work. Now let's get to work. <laughs> Hood dog. <laughs> Never heard it is a PC game before this. Little fun fact for you. Nothing like this game though. It's more of a point and click game. Whereas this you'll see is a platformer. Gross. Kinky. Zoom. I wanna fly high. Yeah, Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Ooh. All right, time to get on with it. Like I was saying, Skull Monkeys is a spinoff from The Neverhood, which is a PC point-and-click game. Those aren't my style. In this game, look at the title screen here, like the tunes. But if you look at the title screen, Password, PlayStation 1. Yeah, early PlayStation 1 games still use Password uh, ability. Not a lot of developers jumped onto the memory card, so... Here we go, Science Senta. This game is one of my, I, I mean, I never really owned it back then, but when my brother, my older brother, got the PlayStation back in 97-ish, probably the summer of 97, this is one of the games he rented, and it blew me away coming from the Genesis to this, obviously, or Sega CD. But as you can see, collect stuff, bullet, shoot. I'll demonstrate that here in a second. If I can find something to shoot. Collect balls for one-ups. Always uh, collect, uh, you know, 
collect coins, rings, whatever, and these old platformers. And even today, boom, you stupid monkey. Uh, you can just, the controls are simple until you get other power ups. You just shoot, which was circle, but I can't shoot anymore because you have to get the ammo. Jump and run. And that is until I get more power ups. These are your midway checkpoint. And. Ah, nice. Two hits, maybe one. We'll go up this time. Screw that. Collecting balls. Shut up, monkey. This game is always neat to me. I, I'm not a big fan of stop motion claymation stuff, but uh, seeing it in a game, I'm, it's not the first time. We saw it on the Sega Genesis with Play Fighter and all that. But this perfected it because, you know, CD uh, based games added a lot more memory where cartridges were limited. But also gave us loading time. <clears throat> Good job, Chris. Just showing them how to suck. It has been a while since I've... Oh, listen. It's going to loop. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Games back then looped the music. It was just like basically you were playing a track in your CD player. And once it was over, it just basically restarted but I, but back to what I was saying this game always just kind of fascinated me it was like you're playing with clay <laughs> swirly swirly Q click three to go to a bonus level well there's one to go to a new level yummy loading not as bad as a lot of games today that's for sure what are you hiding up here, monkey balls? Give me that. Aw. Oh. The halo gives you an extra hit, basically. Cause think of it as Sonic's ring. Without it, I could get hit once and die. <laughs> but yeah, this little game came out. DreamWorks Interactive. Like I said, spin off of a point and click game. Same style, though. Claymation and everything. I'm sure if you looked on the internet, you could find it to either purchase or, you know, yeah. But uh, this game will run you a pretty penny. It's a very expensive game, mostly because uh, collectors. Yeah, you got people like us to thank for that. <laughs> I'm a collector too, so got it. Now at least I have. Never mind. Get some balls here and hope I get a one up. I really should practice once or twice before I start recording because I don't know how amusing it is to see me die. <laughs> That's what happens when you press down. See what happens when you press up? Nothing. These stupid monkeys. Wish I had some more ammo to shoot them with. Yeah, they always look like meat monkeys to me, as I was pointing out in the beginning of the movie. Secret. Ooh, I get one bullet. Must save it. God, that's a lot of monkeys. And why didn't I jump? I pressed the jump button. I blame the emulator. I didn't save my bullet. <laughs> it's not running, it's not working my disc properly. I know I pressed jump when I was in the middle of all those monkeys. Whatever. I just want to kind of play this a little bit. And, you know, if, if you guys enjoy it, wow. I might do a let's play of it or something like that. Just let me know in the comment line if you want to see more Skull Monkeys. It's more of an experiment. And I did want to kind of share it with, you know, people that watch or listen to RetroCore. Because it's a fun game. I mean, it is challenging. Oh, goody. Word. <laughs> Word. I think you keep jumping on this. Yeah. Woohoo. Monkey, monkeys. 
secret. Another bullet. Well, at least I got a one up. <laughs> so yeah, as, like I was saying though, no, uh, can't save this game. You have to write down my password to uh, keep playing it. I don't know if this has the save state feature, but we'll find out. Well, obviously, I went the wrong way. Stupid, stupid monkey. Ugh, I'm scared. I only have one, one uh, hit left, technically. Since I don't have a halo. Kinda being careful. Yummy! This game has some of the funniest bosses you'll ever see, as you'll see. Coming up. Oh, look, they're actually carrying the balls. Gimme. Ah! What are you eating? He's eating the ball. I don't know. I'm sure that hurts you. Listen to the music. It's like an Old West kind of thing going on. Ah, oh, there's enough monkeys everywhere, isn't there? It's up here. Alright! And on a monkey. Funky monkey. Brass monkey. Yeah, that's a Beastie Boys for you, youngins. Lots of balls everywhere. What in the world? I don't remember that. Don't do it to me. I'm a scared. Present, present ball. Jump on and get a prize. Balls. Okay, you go up and shoot balls and all that. Got you down. Ah! scared me. No chances. Monkey! Evil, evil monkey! That's from uh, Family Guy. If you're into Family Guy. I am. I like American Dad more, but whatever. This is about games. Secret. I like how I'll let you know you found a secret. Hello. Oh, now the music has to start over. Silly 90s technology. Hey, there's the other blue Dreamcast logo. I keep hitting my head. Three of them. If you press uh, pause, you can see it's a... Uh, oh, it's a collection game, obviously. Not like uh, Donkey Kong 64 or anything, but... The three Dreamcast swirlies are bonus. Top right corner is obviously lives. 1970, I believe if you collect them, something disco happens. It's been a long time. Um, top left corner, balls. And as for the things in the bottom two corners, I'm not really sure. I'm sure they're just collectibles of some sh sort. And we'll find out what they are as we go on. Like I said, I'll probably turn this into a let's play. I'll stop here after another level, depending on how long this one goes. I don't know if I'll play through to beat the game. I mean, it just depends on what you guys let me know what you like to see. If you like Skull Monkeys, want to see more, let me know. But for now, I'll probably continue on with it. Until you people say, okay. I do take breaks, though, if you haven't noticed. Like, you know, I did the Sonic Pocket Adventure a couple times. And then I stopped and did the Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Bonus! So, I do alternate. I don't... I'm not gonna...
with a hand to land. <laughs> That's great. Here's a little bonus room where you don't have to worry. Take your sweet time. You need not hurry. <laughs> oh, you're looking incredible. You're in love mom. And me, I'm kind of like your dad. And a little like your mom. <laughs> That's not right. I was just kidding. <laughs> Don't be scared. And when you turn this game off in the real world once again, you won't have to play make believe or try to pretend. I don't know where I'm at. Because <laughs> I'll be right there when you open your hand. Because I'm your little invisible musical friend. <laughs> So show me to your pets, <laughs> show me to your pals, you really will impress every nifty guy and gal. Yeah. Word. Show them you're individual, show them you are bold, besides I get residuals for every game that's sold. <laughs> I'm your little invisible well, now we're too. musical. Yay, I got a musical friend. Okay. I was hoping maybe after the song it would, you know, okay, bonus round over. But no. Ah! Yes, here's a little bonus room where you can play. Yay! Don't be frightened, don't run away. Yay! Think of me oh. as a Yummy! Science Center completes, and there's my code. <laughs> yeah! Good tunes. Listen to this for a second. Well, um, I'm gonna cut it here, guys. Like I said, let me know if Skull Monkeys is the thing you wanna see more of. I'm for sure gonna do at least one or two more videos. Might not be in order, I might go off and do something else next time, but I will return to this at least once or twice. But you know, let me know in the comments or follow me on Twitter, you know, it'll be in the description. Just let me know what you guys like and if you like Skull Monkeys. So alright, thank you. This is Chris again of Retrocore Podcast. Thank you for watching.